We're here with Ruben Chaus, our Spanish new new Spanish uh, Mission King of the Baggers racer. You're here. You're going about to start your first season of, of Moto America racing, and you're gonna start it at Daytona. You've never been to Daytona, am I right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm born in Barcelona, Spanish and Andorran, both situation, and then coming to America. Uh, for many years, I wanted to come to America. It was kind of a a missing thing. But I never expected it was going to be like it happened now, no? And life is giving you surprises like it is. Uh, coming into Baggers, first time for me in uh, Daytona. But excited because uh, lately we've been working so much of my experience with MotoGP. We started in September. We've done four tests already, so we're getting there. When you were young or when you're growing up or you're racing in Europe, does Daytona mean anything to you? Of course, Daytona is a situation that is uh, always on a wow and heaven you know it's like america always for the europeans is something really high level okay which which re i really appreciate i mean maybe people try to devalue the championship because it's a national whatever it is but it's not i mean america got a really nice things uh, to show up and i think of my with my new entry and bringing my experience is going to be something very exciting we've been watching you on social media etc well you decided you wanted to race King of the Baggers and Moto America, and you you made it happen. I mean, you've been very, very busy, but you've put all these things together to make this work. Well, I'm a creator, you know. Uh, since I was very young, uh, when uh, I wanted to succeed and, and, and race motorbikes, and, and because my height, you know, uh, I started super sport when nobody was doing it in Spain, and then I did super bikes, been the first winner guy in Spain winning a world super bikes. Then I, I passed from Superbikes to MotoGP, that was a strange situation together with Colin Edwards. And I did podium with MotoGP with a private team. Then I created my own team, Go11, that now Yanone is uh, debuting this year for Superbikes. Then moving to Andorra, offering the first rider there, and then coming into Baggers for the first time. Um, when I come, I just wanted to do it properly. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not better than anyone else there. Maybe I'm not the fastest guy today there because the the, the, the teenage guys, or I mean, the, the young people, maybe they have more gas than me. But yes, I do have something that they don't have. I've got 30 years experience on a high level bikes. Only high level bikes. I never rode bad bikes. My career was 200 horsepower up. And my power delivery, the concession to the grip, set up of the bike, the importance and very importancy of a one millimeter and really small details, I have it on board, you know, it's mm -hmm. inside me. And because physically I'm okay, what I just try to do is just visit everybody, understand if I was going to match on any of those teams. And with my experience, something told me that I need to do my own, you know. Uh, and with failing, we just set up a situation, riding that Harley, uh, satellite team Harley, but with my, my, all my experience, I brought in my sponsors from Europe, which are a very high level compounds or components of the MotoGP, mm -hmm. you know, high level situation. And well, at the end, a motorbike is a motorbike, you know? Yeah, and you you spoke a minute ago about the, all the different motorcycles, all the different classes you've raced in. Does any of that relate to this King of the Bagger motorcycle or is it completely different? No, I, I went very, I, honestly, I went very direct to the point, okay? I said, okay, that bike, how many horsepowers? Okay, 170, 175, whatever. Some people say it's 200, some people say it's 160. Reality, I saw in our dyno, 170 horsepower, okay? Which is okay, because if you can transfer them on the ground and use them completely, it's like having 200 and not using them, okay? So I compared that to my career, and that was Superbikes, 2002, more or less. Colin Edwards, Troy Bailey's, myself, Ben Bostrom. And what I've done is just, okay, I have 170 horsepower, I have uh, same similar brakes, 17 inch wheels, which was just exactly what I wrote there, and then I've got no traction control and no information, nearly no information. So very close by what I was having that time. I put my brain back on those timings and I create the same setup bike or bike that I've put there. Straight away, I did it, we tested and it works. So at the end, even if we have luggage or a big fairing or 620 pounds or more on the weight, once you are like, Moving that weight, if you're doing it the correct way, the bike will work. It's clear and at a very low speed, I felt the, 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 the weight on it, but we don't have really 
tight corners all over the championship. You know, almost right. the 80% of the corners or curves are high, mid high speed. And it's what we've done. And I think you're going to be surprised about how the bike will work. Perfect. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. You want more? Uh, whatever you want to do. I think we can go a little more. Okay. Let me think. Okay. So you're getting ready to start. You've done a lot of testing or semi a lot of testing, but you've ridden the bike quite often. Are you ready to go? And, and are you excited? And where do you think you can finish in all this without really knowing? <laughs> I, I'm, for me, it's a, like a question mark. I mean, but but something I've done, honestly, as you said, it's when I met Felling and I decided to do that joint venture with 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 Team uh, Felling, that I was bringing my part of setup and parts, and they just can do the engine engine tuning, which they are really good on it. It's I cannot wait till February fifteenth to prepare the bike. That is what everybody does here. You know, I mean, we are so used to in in Europe. You prepare things in advantage of nearly one year advance. A racer, if they don't have a, a seat on November, they think one year later. Mm -hmm. And in here, it's like last minute decision. I came here October. We raced at Willow Springs with a really basic bike. We learned a lot there and another test and another test. And every test we improve a lot, okay? Because the behavior of the engine is really limited. So we could do many laps but we really improved a lot. And, and the behavior of the engine today, or yesterday testing was uh, 500 miles on an engine and it's still performing very well. So very happy. My, my issue is just how to make less mistakes and how to get the best of what I have below me. And if I'm able to do that, using the torque, the experience, the behavior of the tires, which I just got quite a lot of knowledge, if that works, mathematics shows that I'm gonna be around the top situation, but not because I'm better than them. It's because maybe I have experience to apply that on the racetrack, and at the end, you know how it works. It's not how fast you go, it's just how you could set up things on the track. And with that bike, it's very important because it's very heavy. And the heaviness here makes a difference if you make a mistake on a good line, you know? Right. You've seen baggers race, you've raced a bagger, We've recently announced that Moto America is bringing the Mission King of the Baggers around two races to Coda in conjunction with MotoGP. Do you think the, I anticipate the reaction in the paddock to just be wow, right? When no, they see this for the first time. All my colleagues like racers because I live in Andorra and all the MotoGP racers, maybe half of the grid live in Andorra. Also superbike racers, ex-superbikes. You know, Carlos Checa, Charles Davies, everybody is there for us. Knowing that I'm going to be there, they are all waiting just to come over to see me and follow my races because I see them every single week, often at home. So those guys, they just are so excited to see. And also because they know how I am, that I'm going to bring something different that can bring that category more close to what their mentality is. And I think it's what is good that I'm coming on board is that I'm going to have one bike in Europe exactly as the one I have in America for be able to test there on the proper racetracks like Valencia, Barcelona. And I'm going to do like promotional days with the events in Europe. And I think that will connect more the European public that is the one that really follows MotoGP also to those baggers. And I think we can all together, me, you, I mean, everyone else can bring that category into uh, the outsider of the world level championships.